Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the daily news analysis of 6th of December, guys. The first news is about foreign trade policy 2015-2020. Actually, it was a news because there is a mid-term review that has been going on for this uh, trade policy. And in this, uh, central government has announced that, you know, they will be increasing the incentive by 2%, which will account around, you know, 8,000 8, crore for the labor intensive or MSME sectors because uh, the government is giving reasons that GST has negatively impacted this MSME semi sectors somewhere or the, the I mean the initial stages in the implementation of GST and also these sectors are facing huge competition from small small countries of Southeast Asia like you know Vietnam then also Bangladesh uh, with Bangladesh also our textile small textile sector is also getting fully competition so that's why it is a gov uh, initiative by government so that you know our exports could be increased because of course we are reading about foreign trade policy so uh, quite its aim is to increase the exports of good as well as generation of employment and it is mainly inclined with the make in india initiative because when make in india initiative came after that only foreign trade policy 2015 to 2020 came right so that's why it is totally inclined with our you know increasing output of make in india initiative and also the central government is fully concerned that uh, you know with changing international trading architecture our uh, trading architect our, i mean trading architecture of india is will also be changed that is being assured by the government under this foreign trade policy and also those uh, you know declining trend in exports will be arrested and reversed back i mean the efforts will be put forth by the government so that uh, those uh, decline in exports could be reversed back all right and this foreign trade policy will be reviewed uh, two and a half years later and uh, this is the midterm review has been going on right so this is basically first review and also the midterm review you can say about this foreign trade policy so yeah this was the news that's why and uh, next is about prime minister national relief fund actually you uh, uttar pradesh uh, chief minister yogi altanath has donated five crore towards this pm nrf now let's see guys about this pnr nrf it accepts voluntary contract from anyone whether it be individual it be you know uh, organization trust companies or any institutions and all the contributions that is being made towards PM and RF that is uh, sorry Prime Minister's uh national relief funds are totally exempted from income tax under the section 80g of income tax uh, law right and also guys one just thing just remember that these uh, these fund people will not directly call you or and just tell you that if you want to you know contribute in our uh, you know relief fund then you can contribute they don't do that so if at all some sort of you know sms or any calls are coming then that is totally fake so this is just a cautious thing that is being given in you know uh, that is a warning that is uh, being written in wikipedia so that's why I thought it is very important and we should you know know about it a few of the most details guys uh, prime minister himself heads this uh, you know relief fund and it is basically utilized for the medical treatment like heart surgeries kidney transplantation and cancer treatment etc of weaker socio-economic background people only right means they don't give uh, people uh, I mean they will not give money to uh, you know rich people and uh, if you want to give donation uh, to this uh, relief fund then you can do it through your beam or upi app and you just need to you know uh, scan this uh, barcode all right okay next news about soil health card guys actually uh, recently so world soil day in 5th december was you know organized so it is being said that 100 million soil cards has been distributed to the farmers in the very first phase of its distribution of soil health card uh, that is taken place between 2015 and 20, uh, 2017 and uh, let's see a bit of factual information about it guys it provides information about soil health and uh, recently government has come up with an application called soil health card application which will benefit the field worker because field worker while you know they are uh, giving data of their soil so at that time you know gis coordinate of that soil will also be recorded by the you know office government officials who has come to take the sample uh, collect the sample of that soil right so it will you know help the geographers and you know future indian planners to you know plan any sort of agricultural uh, planning activities uh, i mean any any governmental activities if they want to plan something so you know it will uh, i mean all the data will be handy with the government that in which region the soil is much more conducive so according to that you know they can frame any policies regarding uh, you know agriculture or something like that 
all right soil health card also informs farmers about nutrient status and recommend them to, to the doses of nut, uh, nutrients which will help them to improve the soil health and its fertility and a farm will I, I mean a farmer will get the soil health card once in every two years all right and also it is done because you know uh, these nutrient deficiency uh, and it at a gap of two years if at all there comes any sort of nutrient deficiency then that could be regularly detected and you know likewise it can be for in future it can be improved right next news about government has given a green light for the single judge NGT bench basically in NGT the number of judges are very low so that's why the government has given this green signal that uh, from now onwards I mean up till now there was a rule that you know in every bench and uh, I mean, uh, NGT bench must consist of either two or more members in which there was criteria that one member must be of judicial and one must be of expert member. But now, uh, since the government has seen that, you know, there is shortage of members. So, you know, government has given uh, that uh, permission that in under any exceptional circumstances, if at all, you know, the number of judges are less than, you know, a single judge bunch can also take the decision. All right. Now, guys, why a judicial member and an independent experts are kept in this, uh, you know, a jury of uh, this uh, NGT bench? Because in order to ensure that technical aspects of the disputes, whatever comes regarding the environment, that uh, that gets uh, addressed adequately, right? So that's why the uh, you know technical experts are also uh, being appointed under this bench, right? So this was a bit of fact about it. Next is about an ordinance uh, has been lapsed in Rajasthan actually, and that ordinance shielded the public servants from any probe. So Rajasthan uh, Rajasthan's gog this is called Rajasthan's gag ordinance. All right which has uh, shielded the um, judges magistrates and any public servants from any kind of investigation it is a kind of you know blocking police power because uh, under this ordinance they have shielded the crpc of rajasthan crpc act of rajasthan and under which the police the power of the police will be taken away and if at all in future police you know uh, if police get any in, uh, informations against any you know politicians or against any government officials and you know they have to take permission from the government that whether they can you know do any take any actions regarding against those government officials or not and if the government give them permission then only police can you know take uh, action regarding it i mean this was the gist which was i mean just i'm telling about this ordinance right so this is the first negative point about it and also uh, under it gag order has also been passed on media under which it was being said that if media you know accounts for any sort of uh, media hype uh, you know to uh, i mean by taking this as a news so that media person or media office can be penalized all right so this was a gag I mean gag order has also been passed in the uh, against the media right that's why it was in uh, assembly I mean in the legislative assembly of Rajasthan itself there was huge uproar by the intelligence intelligentsia sections and few of the opposition party members also right so that's why the bill has been select uh, sent to select committee but uh, it has lapsed after six weeks because there is a criteria that uh, within six weeks if you're not uh, you know passing that ordinance after the constitution of the legislative assembly then that bill will be lapsed totally so for now the news is that that bill has that ordinance tot has totally been lapsed right next news about akash missile actually there was successful launch of this akash missile so let's read a bit about this akash missile guys it is a medium range mobile surface to air missile and it has been developed by drdo the missile system can target aircraft which is up to 30 kilometer away and also at an altitude up to 18000 meter and it has a capability to neutralize aerial targets like fighter jets cruise missiles and air air to air surf, air to air missiles as well as any sort of ballistic missile next is international solar alliance actually international solar alliance is going to be become a treaty based international government uh, governmental organization or so this alliance is basically the initiative of the india and india has jointly launched this initiative with the prime minister of then uh, which with the then prime minister of france which was uh, some uh, holande right so it was basically uh, an initiative which was inaugurated on the eve of united nations climate conference that is cop21 that has been 
taken in Paris on November 2015. And the main aim of this alliance, guys, is to reduce the amount of, I mean, reduce the global warming in future. Because, you know, the government wants that, I mean, the under this objective of this International Solar Alliance is to, you know, maximize the utilization of solar power. Because solar power is such kind of power which is wasted in uh, all over the world, right? So, there is urge from the countries which are, uh, which are, falling fully or partially between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn and they have been asked to you know uh, I mean set up a solar panel in their country so that they can trap the solar energy and you know in future we can use the solar energy for the electricity uh, consumption and uh, you know um, usage of electricity we can do by this solar panels right so that's why i mean this is international solar alliance and guys yeah this is the first of international you know headquarters which is being set up in india right so again it is very becoming very important and the question regarding it has already uh, popped up in you know prelims paper so but it's not that it will not come again it might come again so you just have to read about it Next is about a bill which has been passed by Madhya Pradesh government and uh, the bill says that if any girls which is who is uh, aged 12 or below uh, 12 and if she is raped then the you know there can be a provision for I mean as a penalty there might be a death penalty for the you know culprit who has done this you know uh, heinous crime right so this decision of Madhya Pradesh government has basically come after the National Crime Record Bureau has, uh, you know, released its data in which it was it has said that MP has the highest number of rape cases, which is 4,882, and that's why the Madhya Pradesh government has, you know, come up with this vidhayak that is with this bill called uh, Dandi Vidhi Shanshodan Dand Vidhi Shanshodan Vidhayak 2017, and the bill afterwards capital punishment. I mean, bill says that capital punishment can be awarded to rapists who rapes a children uh, which is aged 12 years or below and the bill will be sent to center and uh, for the approval of the president because it is quite contentious that's why the governor of you know Madhya Pradesh has sent this bill to the president and if president gives its accent to this bill then it will become a law and in future if at all there comes cases in which a girl below 12 uh, has been raped then that uh, you know culprit might be hanged till death right and few of the other uh, death penalties under this uh, i mean bill is minimum term of 14 years of rigorous imprisonment or life in imprisonment or direct death right so yeah this is all about this uh, bill right okay the question of today is the introduction of soil health card in agricultural sector will result in exact information about soil quality to the farmers second is result in improving soil quality of the regions over time and the third is it will lead to abrupt boom in crop production and agricultural export now guys i'm just telling you that uh, all these three uh, are very you know just analyze this three sentences right because uh, it's quite uh, you know tricky thing i have played here right so that's that's all that's one hint i can give you and just write the correct answer in the comment section below i'll be waiting for it guys all right so okay guys so uh, thank you for listening to this video we'll meet in next class till then bye bye take care and thank you for listening to me guys thank you very much